This audiobook is for educational purposes only. The Addiction Prone Personality by Barnes, Murray, Patton, Bentler, and Anderson. Preface. The production of this book represents a culmination for me of some 25 years of interest in the field of personality and substance use and abuse. In choosing the field of substance use and abuse for the focus of our research, all of the investigators collaborating in this research have been sustained by the awareness that the work we are doing has an important purpose. Substance abuse continues to have enormous impacts on individuals and families, and prevention and treatment approaches developed to date have not always been as successful as we would hope to see. New advances in our fundamental understanding of the causal mechanisms involved in the development of addiction may be necessary to advance our success in developing new forms of prevention and treatment for alcohol and drug abuse. The work in this book builds on the work of numerous previous investigators who have been drawn to investigate this topic. As you will notice in the extensive reference list. There have been hundreds of articles published on this topic, although each of these references has added a small piece to our understanding of the relationship between personality and alcohol abuse. The majority of these studies have been done on clinical samples and often involved no control groups or poorly matched control groups. Several important previous longitudinal investigations have been conducted. But these investigations have usually not included general population samples or comprehensive personality test batteries. The current investigation is also unique in that a clinical sample is also included and compared with the general population sample, and an adoption study was conducted to examine the environmental factors associated with the development of the addiction prone personality. The conceptual and methodological focus for this book has been influenced by many mentors. My interest in the areas of personality, substance abuse, and structural equation modeling were nurtured while studying with Paul Conn at York University. An interest and appreciation for the importance of conducting research in the general population was developed while taking a course on psychiatric epidemiology with Alexander Layton. An appreciation for the importance of the lifespan approach to research and the importance of parenting in the development of the individual was developed while I was teaching in the Family Studies Department at the University of Manitoba. The completion of the project has involved the cooperation of numerous collaborators, some of whom are included as co-authors of the book. Bob Murray and I have shared an interest in substance abuse epidemiology for some 20 years and Bob has added expertise in conducting survey research to the research team. I was first introduced to Peter Bentel a while attending a workshop on structural equation modeling at the International Congress of Psychology in Acapulco. Subsequently, I spent some time studying with Peter at UCLA while on sabbatical and fortunately was able to persuade him to join our research team to provide methodological expertise in structural equation modeling and longitudinal research. David Patton is a former graduate student and has played an active part in all phases of the research starting with the data collection in Manitoba and continuing through to the completion of the data analysis. Rob Anderson is also a former student who has played a large role in analysis analyzing the data for this project and completing the chapters on the clinical study. The three studies described in this book and the completion of this book were supported by funding from a variety of sources. The Winnipeg Health and Drinking Survey was funded by the National Health Research and Development Program of Health Canada, as part of the National Alcohol and Drug Strategy. The clinical study described in this book was conducted with the support of the Alcoholism Foundation of Manitoba and was funded by the Manitoba Health Research Council. The Vancouver Family Survey was funded by the National Health Research and Development Program. Peter Bentler's participation in this project was facilitated by Grant DA0070 from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Rob Anderson's participation in this research was made possible by the financial support he received from the Alcohol and Drug Programs Division of the British Columbia Ministry of Health and the British Columbia Health Research Foundation. The analysis and dissemination of the results from the Winnipeg Health and Drinking Survey described in this book have been greatly enhanced by the large number of graduate students who have participated in the research, including Len Greenwood, Rihanna Sommer, Shayla Khan, Lana Feinstein, Maureen Rodrique, Carol Bdoin, 
and Christine Krekelitz. Data collection for the Vancouver Family Survey was accomplished through the assistance of the Health Promotion Centre at the University of British Columbia, under the direction of Lawrence Green. Anne George provided the project management for this study, and her good nature and competence in managing this difficult task is much appreciated. The completion of this book required a considerable amount of effort by Secretarial and other support staff. The bulk of this work was completed by Caroline Green and Catherine Woodhouse. Throughout the completion of all three of these studies, Terry Perkins has been involved as an interviewer and data analyst and in drawing the structural equation models. Terry's agreeableness and conscientiousness in completing all of these tasks has been very much appreciated. The assistance of Elizabeth Hook in editing and proofreading was very helpful. Rob Anderson would like to thank all of those who gave him encouragement and inspiration along the way. This includes the other authors of the book, his loving parents and sister, and the growing number of people with addiction-prone personalities who, after having directly experienced the isolation and degradation of active addiction, now offer each other ongoing support in recovery fellowships like Narcotics Anonymous and Alcoholics Anonymous. The completion of the three studies described in this book placed a large burden on all of the participants in this research. Two of the studies were longitudinal in nature and the other study required participation by three family members. All of the studies involved completing questionnaires and interviews that were lengthy and complex. We would like to express our sincerest thanks to all of the respondents who made this work possible by taking the time to participate in this research. Although the completion of the three research studies, and production of this book, has been a lengthy and difficult task. It has been a process that produced many enjoyable moments along the way. Whether these moments included working on proposals late at night, analyzing data in various locations ranging from the University of Manitoba to the University of Victoria and UCLA, or attending conferences to present our findings all over the world, the process has been enhanced by the warm relationships enjoyed with colleagues and students who have worked on this project. Gordon E. Barnes